You already have Bitcoin in your own wallet. You don't depend on exchanges, banks, or any other intermediary. You roll down the words to recover the wallet correctly, but that little voice behind your head says, what if someone can guess my seed phrase? I'm Kiaro, co-founder of Area Bitcoin, and if you want to learn everything about Bitcoin, I invite you to subscribe here to the channel and share it with someone who will find it useful. So let's move on to the subject of this video, understanding how wallets generate seeds and what are the chances of someone guessing your seed phrase, whether accidentally or even trying to rub you. Seed is a code used to recover Bitcoin balance in any wallet that is compatible with Bitcoin's BIP39 update. The origin of the word seed comes from the fact that you can use this code as a seed to grow an entire tree of Bitcoin addresses. In other words, a single seed can generate several addresses and keys that will protect your Bitcoin. If you insert your seed into any BIP39 compatible software or hardware wallet, you will always be able to access your balance, even if the original wallet is damaged. You just have to download a new wallet or buy a new device and recover your balance using your seed or your seed phrase. This seed is actually a code made up of a set of zeros and ones. However, writing down several zeros and ones has a high chance of error confusing your vision. That's why the seed phrase was created. That bunch of zeros and ones were transformed into words, which are much easier to write down and avoid writing things wrong. You can have a seed made up of 12, 18 or 24 words that in the correct order unlock access to your Bitcoin balances in a wallet. These words are part of the list that contains 2048 different words in English. This list is used by BIP39 to convert each word into a sequence of zeros and ones. Now that you know that in fact all those words that wallets generate for you when you set up a Bitcoin wallet for the first time are encrypted codes that can generate dozens of addresses, it becomes much easier to understand how wallets do this and if it is possible to guess these words. When a wallet creates a seed for you, it activates something called Random Number Generator. This component exists both on cell phones, PCs and also in physical wallets and generate random numbers like sequences of zeros and ones in a random sequence. And it's because of this randomness that you are sure that your seed is unique. This effect is known as entropy, how random numbers are actually random. But if you try to create a sequence of zeros and ones from your head, it probably won't be random. Because we are human beings, we follow a primitive tendency to see patterns in everything. So if you decide to get zeros and ones to create a seed, you may end up creating a seed that already exists because someone else thought you were creating an entropy, when in fact you were just creating a brain pattern. This is why it's really important to use tools that guarantee this randomness. There are several stories of people generating seeds from famous songs from the Bible or well-known websites from the internet. But this is a really bad idea because there are several hackers who monitor these common words with robots and end up stealing funds really easily. Bitcoin wallets, both hot wallets and cold wallets, generate this randomness automatically when you set up the wallet for the first time. But you can also generate your seed by playing dice or with a coin. But you really need to be careful, like making sure you are not using biased data that will end up giving you an almost standard sequence. Can you imagine a whole family using the same corrupted dice and one ending up taking the other one's seed phrase? Well, that would be really bad. In the dice example, you can divide the chances, like if you roll the dice and it comes up to 1, 2 or 3, you write down 0. And if it comes up with 4, 5 or 6, you write down 1. Then you just roll the dice 128 times to get a seed of 12 words, or 256 times to get a seed of 24 words. Each row will give you a result of 0 or 1, depending on which side of the dice is up. In the coin example, you can flip heads or tails. You determine which face will be 0 or 1 and write down by the binary sequence. The ideal would be to use a coin with perfect weight so you don't have the same problem as the dice. That's why to have real entropy you need some very practical care if you want to use these physical techniques. The big advantage is that dices and coins surely are not connected to the internet and in theory it would be much secure. On the other hand, you can also make mistakes when writing down wrong results so you have to be really careful when using this type of technique. And after writing down the zeros and ones, just convert them into words using the BIP39 write them down, store them in a safe place, and also it's a good idea to destroy your initial node so that no one can find it. There are many ways to create a sequence of zeros and ones for a seed, but the biggest difficulty is making sure that the process was really random. 
Wallets do this using like a ship that is considered a safe way to generate seeds. It's up to the user to choose how to do this, whether analog mode or digital mode. The fact is that most people end up preferring that their wallet does this because it's more practical and also because there is less chance of error. Okay, now that you understand how seeds are created, let's move on to the initial question. What are the chances of someone accidentally generating the same seeds as yours? So if there's a lot of wallets and there are more and more to come, couldn't they end up generating the same sequences? There you go. The probability of someone hitting your seed is so, so tiny that it is mathematically unlikely, almost impossible to happen. To give you an idea of how difficult it is, you just have to look at this image. The chances of you winning in the lottery is one in more than 139 million attempts. The chances of you guessing all Bill Gates' bank details and being able to access his account is one in a sextillion chances. The chances of you finding a specific atom in the planet Earth is one chance in absurd number of attempts, like 10 in a 51th. The chances of you finding any seed with balance is one chance in 10 in the 75th. The chances of anyone finding your private key or your seed phrase is one in the 77th more than one in a decillion chances. It is the same chance that you find a specific atom in the observable universe. In other words, it's very difficult. And this number is so big that it's a dimension that makes your brain bug. It's much more likely that you'll be struck by a lightning, attacked by a shark, or suffer a plane crash 10 times in your lifetime than someone discovers your seed phrase. That's why it's way much easier for someone to steal your bitcoins by physically stealing your seed if you don't keep it securely in your own home than trying to guess it through trial and error. That's why most people that lose their BTC are because they didn't take good care of their own seed phrase and not because someone guessed it. So take good care of your seed phrase. I hope you enjoyed this content and understood how difficult it is to simply guess a specific seed. Until next time and opt out.